Hello and welcome to this presentation. Let me show you how you can greatly simplify your email marketing. For this example, let's assume you have a list of your clients who purchased a product or service from you in the past. Now you have an updated version of this product and you would like to let all your clients know. To entice them, you will offer a 10% discount if they upgrade now. First, let's add a new group. A group is just a list of subscribers with any fields you like. We name this group Marketing Professionals 10% Discount. This is just a name. We also fill out the from name and email address. Each client on this group will receive an email with from field that has these credentials. This is important since this is one of the ways your client knows who is this message from. Once we're done filling all the fields in this form, we press OK and the form is saved. Now we have some custom fields in this list, so we change the field names so it is easier for us to substitute them later. We can use free fields on the bottom like field 1, field 2 and so on, or we can change existing ones if we don't use them for anything else. These fields will be later used in the email itself and each field will be automatically replaced at the time of sending the value from the database. Now everything is done, we press OK and finish. We need to bring in the list of your customers. Let's assume we have the list in an Excel spreadsheet and I save it as a CSV file. I press the import button, then choose email addresses, names and other fields in the plain text file. This will allow me to import not just the email address itself, but also customer's name, product name, purchase date and the update link that we talked about. Put in the file name, follow the wizard to the end, and since we have a comma separated value file, let's untick the tab and tick the comma. We also choose the text qualifier to be quotes. Let's add a message. Click Messages, Add, then edit your message subject. In this case I put 10% discount on upgrade. I have saved the message in a clipboard so I could paste it here. You see that my message contains those macro fields we imported. Name, product, date and link are all there. This will be later substituted at the time of the sending. Click OK and we are done. That is all we need. Press Start to start sending. Everything is done and let's see how the result will look like. Remember those fields we substituted? Here they are. Thank you for watching this presentation. Please check out our website and download a free demo version of the program you just saw at www.emailmarketingsoftwareguide.com.